I'm Dr. Joshua Prager, Director of the Center for the Rehabilitation of Pain Syndromes at UCLA Medical Plaza. We have a comprehensive functional rehabilitation program at the CRPS and also um, perform ketamine infusions for those patients who desire and need them. Uh, we've been performing these infusions for approximately five years here at the Center for Ambulatory Surgery Treatment, also called CAST, here in Westwood, California, approximately four blocks away from the UCLA campus. Today, we are going to witness an infusion for one of my patients who's been receiving periodic ketamine infusions for approximately four years. Um, Elizabeth, who you will meet, um, has CRPS that developed as a result of a foot injury and while living in Arizona, had multiple therapies, none of which were particularly satisfactory for her. She found that she had multiple untoward side effects to the systemic therapies and did not have substantial pain relief. She had a significant sleep disorder and was extremely distraught without ability to perform normal activities of daily living when she first came here to California. She underwent a comprehensive interdisciplinary functional rehabilitation program that provided marked improvement, although did not give complete remission. Eventually, she underwent a ketamine infusion, which after a single infusion provided her significant pain relief so that she was able to walk on a beach the following day and feel better than she had in many years. She returns to see us when the effect of the ketamine begins to wear off and has learned that if she does it sooner rather than later, she needs less therapy and gets a more profound effect from even a single infusion. She's here today after uh, approximately 12 weeks since her last infusion, here for ketamine um, to put her back into remission. She has high expectations. I hope you enjoy meeting her. I've had uh, complex regional pain syndrome for 10 years, starting in May of 2000. And what caused it originally? Originally, it was a broken sesamoid um, that I suffered during a car accident. Um, it uh, wasn't caught um, during the original x-rays that were taken, but two years later, my foot rebroke, and um, after the cast was taken off eight weeks later, um, my uh, doctor immediately noticed the symptoms had already uh, onset. Um, there was a um, swelling in my foot, uh, discoloration of my skin, um, the uh, uh, texture had begun to turn shiny in places and it looked as though the thin skin was thinning and my foot had actually atrophied to the point where I lost uh, full shoe size. The pain, um, the pain in my foot was um, burning. Um, sometimes uh, the burning was so intense that my foot would actually blister. Um, I uh, began physical therapy um, to treat the RSD. We wanted to keep it contained to the foot but um, uh, due to some outside uh, uh, influences, I wound up spreading to my uh, left foot and up both legs. Um, there were times when my right leg has turned completely purple and my left leg has stayed completely white and times when um, the color will actually jump to my other leg um, and start at the area closest to my right leg and then actually move across till the color eventually consumes my left leg as well. I slept with ice packs and beach towels under one or both legs for five full years. Uh, well, the life I had before the onset of the RSD um, no longer existed. I lost the ability to ski. I lost the ability to drive long distances. Uh, the different medications that um, 
uh, the doctors were trying um, were either ineffective or they made me um, nauseous, uh, caused fainting spells, and uh, left me feeling very groggy. Um, it was a terrifying and frustrating feeling um, not to be able to gauge the level of my own lucidity. And I really felt like I was losing control of my ability to uh, complete abstract thoughts or um, any sort of complex thought processes. I began to notice changes and my ability to um, to be around loud noises, um, to be in any room that had bright lights. Um, so I developed a hypersensitivity to even touch um, uh, things, everyday activities, things like just taking a shower um, would feel like pins and needles on my skin. So the life I had before RSD, again, no longer existed. It was um, five years from the onset of the RSD. Um, in 2004, my foot broke again and uh, I developed a hemoarthrosis in my right foot. Um, uh, my toes started to turn purple and then uh, black. We thought I might actually lose some of my toes. No one wanted to put a cast on my foot, so I was walking on crutches. Um, because of some of the problems I had developed with my depth perception, I tripped going down some stairs uh, Thanksgiving weekend of 2004. But I landed on my crutches and tore some of the brachial plexus nerves across my chest and dislocated my collarbone. At that point, that was when the RSD spread um, up to my shoulder and uh, basically the right side of my body. Um, a doctor friend of mine came to visit me about six months later and um, took, um, had seen the difference and the change um, in my physical and emotional state. and also went through my medicine cabinet and saw some of the experimental medications that I had been taking, uh, things like epileptic seizure medication, um, things that he didn't think were helping me, were only hurting me, and he actually was the one that put me in touch with you. The decision on when to use uh, ketamine infusion therapy um, is one that is variable um, according to which patient it is. Many patients now find out about ketamine through reading literature articles or by doing uh, searches on the internet and come in specifically requesting ketamine. Often it may be premature in that a single nerve block or aggressive physical therapy alone would be enough to produce a remission. Early in the um, pr progression, of CRPS, less aggressive modalities often are highly successful and that's really dependent upon catching the syndrome early. Once the uh, syndrome has uh, progressed, ketamine becomes a more reasonable uh, therapy um, for patients. The average patient that, that comes to see us um, gets about uh, three months from between one and three infusions and then uh, re returns when pain and CRPS symptoms uh, begin to resume. What patients have indicated is that it's better for them if they come back earlier when the, the symptoms begin to return rather than waiting for them to become full blown. Uh, as a result of this, often we only need one or two uh, treatments once the patient has had their initial therapy to get the patient back into um, remission. This reduces the need for um, systemic medications and, and patients feel much better in terms of their ability to perform activities of daily living and their need to take medications being substantially um, reduced if not completely eliminated. The goal of functional rehabilitation in a CRPS patient 
is to give the patient skills so that they can move on with their lives and return to who they were. Uh, th there's an old saying that if you uh, teach a, a woman how to fish, she won't be hungry anymore, but if you just give her a fish dinner, then she won't be hungry that night. And we, we try to give people um, the ability to move forward by having insight into their pain and insight into how they can relax in a stressful situation that often can exacerbate complex regional pain syndrome. With regard to the patient that we are seeing today, she actually has done four weeks of comprehensive functional rehabilitation and twice has come for uh, two-week booster um, sessions to revitalize many of the things that, that she's learned. We have somebody who had lost all her ability to have normal function, who now cooks for a, a home where she has multiple teenagers both living there and visiting through her friends and has quite vital life. The more ketamine infusions I seem to have, the more effective they've become. Um, they're not losing their effectiveness. If anything, um, because I've learned to prepare myself properly for them and because Dr. Prager understands uh, you know, the, do the right dosage, um, given how many inf infusions I'm going to have, whether I'm going to have one or three in a row, um, he's managed to you know, gauge it very well and successfully so that their effectiveness has gotten better. It hasn't worn off. You know, there is, you know, some